You know, we're so lucky because we're not the families that were given this news 25 years ago. I don't know how they ever did it. They had nothing to grasp onto, and we have hope. We're so lucky because we have the MDA behind us. Because where would we be if we were dealing with a disease that was not well known and did not get the support from so many people? We're so lucky because we have the support and the love of all of our friends, because we could never do it without them. We're lucky because we have so many people, so many talented professional people that have given their time and their talent to help us to pursue our mission. And I'm so thankful that they've made it their mission. And we're so thankful that we have such brilliant men and women who are working so diligently to find a cure. And they're so, so close that I can't stand it sometimes. Um, sometimes I, I refer to the whole process as the game show that used to be on Beat the Clock. And they had a big clock there and the host would set the clock and the contestants would have a certain amount of time that they would have to complete a task. If they beat the clock, they won. And if the clock beat them, they lost. And this is just one that we cannot afford to lose because we are talking about our children's lives. And we need as much help and as much support as people will give us. So please open your hearts and help us, please. Okay. All right, Mom. <laughs> well, Jake is a little shy, so let's ask Pluto. Pluto, what did you, what you think about Mom? Say it. <laughs> He's shy. You know, children like Jake deserve every single opportunity they can possibly deserve to grow up and to hang out with their dads for a lot longer. These diseases have to be stopped, and we intend to do everything that we can to stop them. That happens with your support. Please pick up the phone, call, make a pledge, because we intend to beat the clock. This family needs you. You can make your contribution to this telethon using the American Express card, Visa, MasterCard, or Discover card. Here's a reason to choose the American Express card. American Express will be donating an extra dollar to MDA for every telethon contribution made using the American Express card. Please have the credit card you choose handy when you call the number on your screen or 1-800-FIGHT-MD. Or go to MDA's website, sponsored by AT&T World Net Service, at www.mdausa.org and charge your donation using AT&T Secure Buy Service. Stay right where you are in the next hour. Not only do we have the comedy of Jeff Ross and Tom Dreesen, we've got Pam Tillis performing in a beautiful new casino. Jerry's coming back with this and much, much more, so be sure to keep it right here. Hello, I'm Gene Reed, Lafayette Chief of Police. As a police officer, I'm concerned about public safety. Neuromuscular diseases are a threat to our safety. They can strike any one of us at any time. Fortunately, something is being done to combat this threat. MDA is supporting the work of scientists who are on the brink of finding treatments and cures. When they find these, the assailant will be disarmed and disabling effects of neuromuscular diseases will no longer be a threat. Make your pledge now for as much as you can afford and support MDA commitment to public safety. Thank you. Telethon. Welcome back. We need you to call 743-1880 and we're going to want to welcome Matt Olson to the team right now. Well, thanks a lot, Mary. It's the uh, first time I've been involved with the uh, Jerry Lewis Telethon, at least on the hosting side. And uh, I believe I've been giving quite a duty here. Yes, my he's first been time. given the honor to uh, show us what the total is to this point. Go ahead, Matt. Okay. You, uh, you know, be careful at home here. I hope I don't screw up. That's 
a very nice start, Greater Lafayette, but we're going to be here for a long time because we've got a lot of work to do to raise money to help fight uh, muscular dystrophy. There are 40 neuromuscular diseases that we need to combat, and we're going to start it tonight with uh, your donation, 743-1880. We've got uh, folks from uh, Westside High School here. We've got uh, one Harrison Raiderette who's out here ready to answer the phones. These um, young teens have given up their evening to come here for a worthy cause, and we should put them to work. Well, of course. I mean, we've got to keep them busy, and, uh, you know, I, I'm not hearing too many phones right now, but 743-1880, 1880 Get them working. There we go. There and we go. Uh, let's, let's get a roll here. I, we, I know we've got it into five figures since the last hour, so let's, uh, let's work on push it, it up. We want to thank uh, Gail and Alan Beck of West Lafayette for their $50 and Nina and Walt Hart of West Lafayette for their $100 pledge. Thanks so much. Scott Tyler, Frankfurt, $5. Evan Ledman of Lafayette, $5. We thank you all for your donations already so far. If you haven't made a pledge, why don't you do it now? Then you don't have to worry about it tomorrow. It's easy to do. Pick up the phone, dial 743 one eight eight zero. That's all you need to do, Mike. Now there's, we're going to make a lot of money on the telephones between now and six o'clock tomorrow. But uh, there are a number of events that go on in our community throughout the year to raise money for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. We want to thank the folks at Marcus Cable. They were involved in a lockup. A lockup is where you gather a group of people and you, you put them in a jail cell and they're there until they raise a certain amount by calling their friends and getting pledges. Uh, the folks at Marcus Cable Company uh, were able to raise $1,551 through their lockup. How about that? And there, there are other activities. Uh, I'm sorry we don't have anybody with us from Abate right now because uh, uh, they are great, great supporters of the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Uh, they get on their bikes and they go riding and, and they do a great job of raising money. This year they did pretty well. Brianna Bunty, how much do you think the folks raised from Abate this year? Um, Take a guess. $2,000. $2,000, not quite high enough. Beth Anderson, how much do you think the people from Abate raised? Uh, $2,500. Oh, no, 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 no. Up, higher, higher. Matt? Uh, $10,520. Higher. <laughs> Ashley. Oh, she's on the phone. Who's down here? Come on, we're getting there. Matt Scott. You got to know the answer. You seem to know all the answers while we're waiting here. How much money did the people from Abate raise this year for the Muscular Dystrophy Association? $15,000. Yeah, not quite, but... They raised $11,210. How about that? They're pretty special people. From Abate Region 3, they raised $11,210 from their rides. Folks, there are a, great, a lot of great people in this community, and they're out there doing that sort of a thing for the, a great, great cause, the Muscular Dystrophy Association. You can do your part. You don't have to pledge $11,000. You call us and pledge a buck. Pledge five, but call 743-1880. Make that pledge this evening. Mayor? Well, Mike, you're right. 743-1880 is the number to call here. But if you look at the bottom of the screen, there are a lot of other pledge centers across the TV18 viewing area who are doing their job in their community to raise money. And if you want to, why don't you give them a call? We have a toll-free number. But uh, in the towns of Attica and Kokomo, and, and in White County and Rossville, there are pledge centers there that are waiting to take your call. They're manned, so why don't you give them a call if you want to. If you don't want to call 743-1880, we want to th thank Tommy Smith of Lafayette for his $100 pledge. Mary Lou Aids of Lafayette, $25. John a uh, Allen of Lafayette, $10. Thank you. Martha Pedigo of West Lafayette, we want to thank you for your $10. Robert Forster of Lafayette, $50. Every little bit helps. You know, it, it costs $40 a minute for research. That's a lot of money. And $100 will pay for two minutes of MDA services. $20 will pay for a flu shot. And you might think that's not important, but it is important because a lot of the people who have neuromuscular diseases also have respiratory problems. They get the flu and it's gonna put them down for a long time. $20 if you can do it, give them a flu shot. 743-1880, Nancy McKinney of Lafayette, $20. Thank you, Matt. You've got a lot of other people who have made pledges this evening. Plenty. Uh, plenty of people who have called 743-1880. One of them, Joyce Lang of West Lafayette, $5. John Allen of Lafayette, $10. Thank you, John. Donald Burke of Lafayette, $15. Jeannie Peterson of Lafayette, $40. And she wants that to go to research. 
And finally, Larry Carroll of Lafayette, $100. So all those people, thank you very much for doing your part, calling your number here in Lafayette and helping out. I'm hearing some phones behind me. We got West Side students. I think one Harrison student. How's it going? It's going great. Raising a lot of money for MDA. And uh, I know, can you show us the quick reflex? If you call here, you're not going to waste that much time. Watch this. If, if this phone were to ring, let's hear it ring. But let's show me let's show me what we can do here. MDA telephone. It's just that simple. So if you just do it that way, call 743-1880. You're going to get through. Otherwise, if you're uh, outside Greater Lafayette, we have the other numbers that we are listed here. And uh, you can give a call. Kokomo is one of them. And I believe right now uh, Mary's gonna is on the phone with the person we have. Mary. That's right. Earlier I was telling you about uh, the outline pledge centers and, and you need to call their numbers uh, if you're living in their community. Right now I'm talking with Patty Horner from Kokomo. Good evening, Patty. Hi, Mary. How are things going in Kokomo? Well, they're kind of slow tonight. Um, we've got $90 in pledges so far, but we'd really like for more people to call. And what's the number out in Kokomo? 459-4181. And so you're going to be there all evening? Right, until midnight, and then we'll be here all day tomorrow from 6 until 6. And uh, do you have a goal in mind that you'd like to, to raise in for, from the people of Kokomo? Well, we raised about $2,100 last year, so we would just like to increase that. Yeah, I think you can do it if we can get the people of Kokomo uh, to give a call. That number again, Patty? 459-4181. All right, keep up the good work, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's all you have to do is just pick up your phone and call uh, 743-1880 in Greater Lafayette and watch the bottom of your screen for other pledge centers across the TV18 viewing area. We don't have many people calling here right now. We've got a lot of anxious West Lafayette High School students ready to answer the phones. Why don't you put them to work? Give them a We've got Nola Gentry here. She's already taking some pledges. She's working hard. Let's give us a call. Mike? Hey, I want you to meet a good friend of mine. Old Bob Rorman is a good friend. Hey, uh, this is Jim Edmonds, though, from Bob Rorman's Auto Dealership. You folks have been out helping the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Yes, we had a two-day jail and bail lockup at the dealership at Lincoln Mercury. How'd that work? Uh, it did real well. They had a lot of volunteers. Um, I've got a check for you tonight for $11,870. $11,870. Folks, we're cooking in Lafayette. Hey, we want to, we certainly appreciate that, and, and uh, we appreciate all the effort that the Mormon dealership people do for this community, and, and we're glad to be part of your, uh, of the time that you folks spend in, in, in the efforts that you make for this community. Thank you. Okay, well, Thank thanks you. very much. $11,870 from the folks at the Rorman uh, Lincoln Mercury dealership. So they're on their way. We're, we're doing some good things. We're raising a lot of money in this community, and, and uh, we're going to try to raise some more. We want your help to do it. Give us a call here at the, uh, the Athletic Center uh, at Purdue, the Intercollegiate Athletic Facility. Uh, it's a warm place over here, but I'll tell you what, we're having a good time doing it, and we want you to, to do your part. If you don't want to stop by, you want to, uh, that's fine, but, but uh, at least call and make a pledge, 743-1880. Matt? Well, Mike, the Rorman dealership certainly helping out. i got some more people who are pushing that total higher and higher. Joyce Lang from West Lafayette, $5. Brent Hainsley, I hope I got that right, from Lafayette, $5. John Ream of Lafayette, $5. Another $5 contribution from uh, Millie Pattison of West Lafayette in memory of her son, Larry Pattison. And uh, a $20 donation by Brandy Berger in honor of Haley and Hannah Berger. And Stella Surgeon of Oxford, another $20 contribution. Thank you so much. And finally, Mary Wendell of Fowler, $25. So many of those people, not just in Lafayette, but in the surrounding communities, calling those numbers, not just 743-1880, but the numbers you see flashing on our screen. Let's keep these kids busy and keep those phones ringing. And after this, we'll, I guess we'll head over to Mary. Okay, 743-1880. Mike, uh, you've got a family over there that's been working hard. Well, I do, and we'll talk to them in a minute, but I want to tell you about some other things that, that uh, have been taking place over the course of the uh, last few months in preparation for this particular telethon. And uh, the folks at the Kroger stores have been uh, doing a great job. They have a shamrock campaign where you come in and you, you uh, make your pledge at the, at the particular location at the business, and uh, you'll get a, you know, a shamrock with your name posted on it, hung in the business. Kroger, uh, $1,407 from one Kroger store for their campaign. And then from Kroger store number 138, another shamrock campaign, and they raised $1,165, so there's more than $2,500 coming from two Kroger stores in this community 
as they try to raise money for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. And we're happy for them. There's also a group of young people who, are, who have been doing a, a great job going out on their own. This is Ashley. Ashley, tell me your last name. Neil. And tell me, where are you, are you from Lafayette, too? Yeah. And who are your buddies here? Whitney, Brit, Lindsay, and Brittany. Whitney, Lindsay, and Brittany. Welcome, girls. You're up kind of late, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, but you're doing a good thing. Tell us what you, how you raised your money. We went around door to door, and we collected money from everybody. What neighborhood did you go through? We went through a lot of them. We went through Ashton Woods, Rolling Hills, McCutcheon Heights. Were the people pretty nice to you when you went knocking on their doors? Yeah. They were, huh? How nice. Tell us what you were able to come up with. $203.65. $203.65. How about that? The Neal family, you girls did a great job for us. Thank you very, very much. How about this? See how it is? Even the kids in this community can do their part, and we want you to do yours. 743-1880. 743-1880. Mayor? Speaking of kids, MDA helps send the kids to camp. There are 83 summer camps across the United States, and one is right here in our own community at Camp Tecumseh. It's a week where the kids can go and swim and fish and play baseball and just have a great time. And we were out at camp and caught some of the fun and the action. There are many ways your pledge to MDA can help Jerry's kids. One of the wonderful things it can do is to give young people with neuromuscular diseases ages 6 to 21 a week of fun-filled activities that focus on abilities, not disabilities, at an MDA summer camp. I like it when we're going to go swimming tomorrow, and tonight we're going to have a um, water fight. And for sure we're having a pizza. Your gift will help MDA offer thousands of Jerry's kids the chance to participate in all kinds of recreational activities that are specially geared for their abilities. They look forward to MDA camp all year long, and when that week comes, they never want it to end. I think it's great. I'm gonna come back next year. Well, I can tell them that it's really fun and exciting. Please call one of the numbers on your screen and make your pledge for as much as you can afford. Help give Jerry's kids the time of their lives at MDA camp. I think it's great that they have a good time and I think it would be even greater if you could help them go to camp by giving us a call right now at 743-1880. Mike? You're giving up this Sunday night to come out here and call their friends and associates, and we call this the financial feud. We've got two organizations working. The first is uh, the Moose Family Center, and Stan Glista, you're going to be the spokesman for the group. Who do you have with you? Uh, to my immediate left, Dale Letson, uh, Chuck Webb, Randy Walker, and Gordon Stevens, all uh, their officers of our lodge. Now tell us what you've been able to do. You've been calling your friends up. Well, you raised a pretty good amount of money here. Yeah, we've called our friends. Uh, we've raised about $400 for this late at night. We think it's a pretty good accomplishment and we'll have more coming. And I'd like to make an offer to our loyal, loyal Moose members for every member who donates at least $25 or more, $5 off on our next dinner all through the uh, end of September. That's a pretty good deal, huh? Okay, thank you very much. Now, the other group that's out here, I don't know what kind of discounts they're gonna give, but uh, the local Democrat party is out here. I'm gonna stop by and see Sheila Klinker. Welcome, Sheila. Thank you, Mike. Seems like every place I go, there you are. I better be. And here you are again. You've got, right. uh, tell us who you've got in your group here. Well, we have uh, former mayor, Jim Reilly, running for the Senate, Jeff Clapper, running for the House, uh, myself, Gina Nessie, who formerly ran for city council, my campaign manager, Moni Kruger from voters' registration, and Belva Pritchett, who is running for county, county clerk. County clerk. Okay, That's right. well, now, the, you've, you've been calling people, I suppose you're asking a donation for, maybe for the campaign on the one hand and, right. and the telethon no, 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 on the no, no. other, no, no? No, not tonight. We've okay. raised over $1,200. Is that right? $1,200. Yes. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you. We certainly thank you all for coming out and, and giving of your time and making those, those calls and those presentations. Mary. Let's find out how much we've raised so far. I've heard a lot of phones. I'm, I'm thinking a big number. Jerry. 
Mexico, I went to the world famous improv and caught some of the best young comedians that I've ever seen in my life. This young man knocked my socks off, as they say, and I think you'll find he's really funny and very bright. Please welcome a young, very, very strong...